In case you hadn't noticed, Rode has released the WS14 pop filter. That's right. The awesome, cool looking Rode pop filter that they said just a few months ago they were not going to mass produce for individual sale. They've changed their mind. And oh my gosh, did they not disappoint. These colors are awesome. Now, some of you absolutely love the look. I'm one of them. Some of you absolutely are not a fan of the price tag. Also one of them. So if you're digging the look of the new colors of the WS14 pop filter, but not interested in the Rode PodMic USB, I'm gonna show you which microphones in my studio that it does fit at a much more affordable price for some of you on a tight budget. All right, we're gonna start with the Fine Fine Tank 3. Sadly, it does not fit my F Fine Fine K669D, my favorite Fine Fine microphone, but yeah. It fits this one. Now you're listening to me on the Tank 3 through the Roadcaster Duo in the pod mic profile, but the processing is turned off. This is what it sounds like. I am really digging this look. I'm just saying. I was okay. Lukewarm on the design of the Tank 3. I'm not a fan of the knobs, and this pop filter just hides the knobs somehow. I don't know what it is, but it looks so nice. Me lucky. Just to give you an idea of what the Tank 3 can look like with WS-14 in certain colors, I've ordered, I think I've ordered all of them, but the only ones that have arrived so far are the black, white, and purple. Orange is supposed to be here today. It's not here yet, but we're going to run with this video anyway. So use your imagination. Imagine orange, but purple will do for now. Now, while that's all the XLR microphones I've found so far that it fits, in my studio at least... Let's go through some of the USB microphones that it fits, starting with the cheapest one I have in my lineup. This is the DGM20 by Mono, Mono, yeah, got it right that time. So if you're not a fan of that chunky pop filter that goes on the front, just take that off. Drop that on, and this is what it sounds like with the Rode WS14 pop filter on it. Super sensitive to handling noise. So again, boom arm this thing up if you're going to get this. But uh, yeah, I don't know. Just thought I'd try it. You do you, boo. All right, I'm going to take off my headphones. Why? Because this is the May Mono. <laughs> Someday I'll get that right. This is the Mono PD100U. This is under $50. I think it even goes on sale for under $40 from time to time. But at least in that $40 range most of the time. Check it out. USB only. No headphone monitoring. For those of you who like to do podcasts but don't like to wear headphones, they got you covered. Great microphone. Uh, podcast I'm thinking of right off the top of my head is The Couple's Table by Tom Buck and Heather Ramirez. They do one side by side. Neither one of them wear heads, wears headphones. So do you just fine. Uh, this is what it sounds like. Out of the box. Default settings. And this is what it looks like when you add the WS14 pop filter. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Me likey. If you're down with the purple like I am. Oh, so nice. Look at that. Look at that. Look how the light hits it. Mm -hmm. Very nice. And for you Star Wars junkies out there, oh yeah, you could go with the Stormtrooper white, or you could white, right, or you can get the red and black one if you like that Death Star look, you know, with the red lights and the black Death Star look all over the place. Very nice. Me lucky. And this is the Deity VO7U. Yes, it fits this as well. So let's go ahead and pop it on. Look at that look. Oh my gosh. It, just, it was like it was made for it. This is the Deity VO7U. Headphones are back on because, yes, this one includes headphone monitoring. And it goes for about $170-ish when it's regular price on sale for like $150, even lower than that at times. But USB only, excellent build quality by Deity, great company. And now you've got a really cool pop filter that fits with it. And here it is in Stormtrooper White. And you also notice like there's an RGB thing on here. Activate the RGBs if you want to. You know, throw some white on there, some of the other colors to bling it up. You can, but this is the Stormtrooper white and the purple. Oh, yeah. Look at that. And just saying, like, when you see the grooves on the side of this thing. See that little groove here at the end right here? Lines perfectly up with the knobs on the side. Just sits right on it. Holds it in place. Like, of all the microphones that it fits, it fits this one amazingly well. Scary well. It's almost like they said, you know what? I know we work for Rode, but let's throw Deity a bone. Let's make it fit the Deity VO7U perfectly, too. And they did. I'm not saying they did that, but they accidentally did. Just saying. All right, so there you go. Those are at least some of the microphones that are out there that this new WS14 pop filter and all these awesome colors, which comes in black, white, purple, 
red, green, orange, and hot pink. For those of you who love some pink, that's right. Real men can rock pink too. And the ladies, of course, they can rock pink. Just saying. But anyways, those are the colors that Rode has offered. And again, if you're not a fan of that $200 price tag to have the microphone that it fits on, those are just some of the options you can get ranging from $170 to $90 to under $50. Great microphones, great sound. And then moving forward, as I do my microphone reviews, I'm gonna pop this pop filter on each microphone that I review moving forward to let you guys know if it fits or not. If you don't wanna miss out on which microphones that this also fits on, I'm gonna be putting this on every microphone that I test from here on out because these are just so cool. And some people just not a fan of the Rode Pod mic. They're just not, especially that price tag. So if you don't want to miss out on those, don't forget to subscribe, become a member. That would be awesome. I'd just, I'd love you so much that I would come cut your grass every single Saturday if we were neighbors, but we're not. But I'm just saying I would do it if you did, because I like you guys that much, especially the members. I, it's not a like thing. It's a love thing. Okay. We're getting cringy now. So we're going to stop it there. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, hit that like button, and the notification bell so you guys are notified when future content goes up because it is a coming. And until I see you guys in the next video, I'm out.